There is, in every culture, a myth relating to the underworld. Not hell or even heaven, but another, neither good nor evil, a place of waiting for those unfortunate enough to pose a problem to humanity's higher authorities. This myth, as many others, involves a beautiful maiden who attracts the attention of the guardian of the waiting place. Who is he? A fallen angel? A god of Greek memory? Or Etruscan? A djinn? Or death? Either way, in every story, a romance, a rape, a relationship. And it is with the progeny of this union where our story lies. The youngest of the five, Grace is also the most naive. He asks the questions and needs protection. Being significantly smaller, he has fewer defences and is becoming increasingly worried about the hostility surrounding him. He relies on the others and they are compelled to protect him. Meet Ronaldo, fourth of the five. Mischievous and cunning. Hand in hand with Ronaldo is trouble. And in this sequence, the trouble is big. Known as the foe, the predator of the five. They have spent their lives evading him even as he spends it pursuing them. An inexorable dance. But not one without rules. Like a game of tag, it has a temporary out, the safety zone. Any place linked with travel, here a bus stop, provides respite. And hope too, for travel suggests a place to go. And that is exactly what the five are searching for. Tanifa will do and say as she pleases. This can be helpful and maddening at the same time. Her style is to act first and let someone else pick up the pieces, but it comes at a price. The second sibling is Zarka, the long-sighted one. So long-sighted that she can see into the next day, enabling her to know the whereabouts of the five and their situation. Heracles, the oldest and most experienced of the five, but his age and experience commands their respect, though they remain wary of him. Heracles is the key to this story and unlocking the mysteries surrounding them. sketched out on a train from Paris to Antibes. Even before that, though, was a love of the moleskin. Initially entitled Drawings on a Train, years of drawings fill small black notebooks until the book itself becomes as precious as the images within. This collusion of creation and material gradually became far more than the sum of its parts and, for this reason, the final book will imitate a sketchbook, creating an intimate look into this world like a discovered journal. Perhaps it holds the Guardian's own record of the tale.